we're gonna deal with another comparison test, and in this case, it is a limit comparison test rather than a direct comparison test. In the direct comparison test, we said, ooh, this looks a lot like that. I can find its convergence or divergence, and we go from there and determine which one's bigger or smaller, greater or less than, I should say. And so for this one, both of the series have to be positive, and we're going to divide them, find the limit as n approaches infinity of that quotient, and it needs to equal L. What's L? Well, it better be finite and positive, and if that's the case, then both of these series converge or they both diverge. So here's the situation. I'm gonna give you a series, and you're going to, like the last test, you're gonna compare it to something else. So you're gonna compare to a different series of known convergence or divergence. So we're just gonna say, well, you know, this looks a lot like such and such, and I know what it does. That's what's happening. I'm gonna compare it to this, and I know what it does. Now, if you're like, I'll put a three there. Sure, put a three there if you want, but it's not gonna impact your life, you'll see. So yeah, put the three. You could factor the three out in the front. There we go. We're gonna compare to this, which is the harmonic series. Aren't you glad you know that? series, which <laughs> diverges, diverges. Okay, it diverges, and that's good to know. What I'm going to do is let one of these be A sub n, and the other one's going to be B sub n. It doesn't matter which one, and we're going to divide them. Now, some teachers consistently do the one they gave you over the one you made up, or maybe the other way around. It doesn't matter, but I'm just going to switch colors again, and we're going to find the limit as n approaches infinity of whichever way, way you want to do it, but 1 over 3n plus 5 is what I'm going to do, divided by the one we made up. And we're going to divide the explicit terms of those. And we're going to get something. So this is the limit as n approaches infinity. We do a little bit of fractional magic, and we're going to have n over 3n plus 5. And this is going to give me... Well, let's use our knowledge of horizontal asymptotes, really, is the context for this. This is going to be, La Hopital, if you want to treat it that way, too, one-third. All right. I got one-third. That's good. What does that tell me? I'm glad you asked. It told me a number, and that number is finite, and it is positive. That number is not infinity, and it is not negative. Therefore... The series that they gave me, all right, we're about to write a word. Are we going to write converge or diverge? Well, they both converge or they both diverge, and I compared it to something that diverged, so this one is going to diverge. It diverges. Man, that's good to know. Let's do the next one. All right, we're going to slide this thing up. This is, a, this is an easy comparison test. Direct comparison test is a little tricky sometimes. I like this one. This one's pretty, uh, I almost said it's pretty direct, but the other one technically was direct. This one uh, has no limits, you might say. <laughs> I'm sure it does, but whatever. Just want to make a pun. All right, determine the convergence or divergence of that. We're going to compare to, all right, what do you want to compare it to? Now, whatever you pick, you better know it. You better know, oh, that's a geometric and it converges, or that's a P-series, or that's a harmonic, which is P-series. Yep, that's a, something I did in a previous example that I found with the integral test. Like, it needs to be something you know. So, 1 to infinity of, well, let's take away all the insignificances. That plus n is irrelevant with large values of n. The 3, irrelevant. The 2, irrelevant. Let's just take it down to the bare minimum which is that, compared to this, which is a P-series that converges. If you want to get all technical and be like, oh, P is equal to three, which is between, which is greater than one. I almost said it's between zero and one. Three is not between zero and one. All right, switching colors. I don't know why, because it's all one big thought, but let's do it. The limit, as in, approaches infinity of, whoop, all right, I'm going to do what they gave me divided by what I made up. 
and we're going to keep going with it. Some people do it the other way. It doesn't really matter. As long as we get a number that is finite and positive, we're good to go. Now, if I did it the other way, I'd get a 3 on this problem, which would be finite and positive. So we'd get the same end result, right? Okay, so um, this is going to give me, let's flip this thing up. I'm going to have 3n cubed over 2n cubed plus n. So n goes towards infinity. Therefore, this constant, not constant, but this term right here becomes highly insignificant. And I have three halves. And for that reason, we will pause, look at that, and say, well, that's great. It's finite. It's positive. Therefore, they do the same thing. Well, I know what this one does. It converges. So I know the one they gave me also converges. Do, 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 do. Uh, this one also converges. There we go.